Welcome everyone. So today we are going to understand a very nice factorial problem. Okay. Now a lot of people do not understand only what is a factorial. So please understand if you had to take a factorial of let's say a. Okay. You can expand it by multiplying it with the next consecutive number but in decreasing order. And you will keep on multiplying until and unless you reach the value of 1. Okay. So let's take for example if I wanted to take the factorial of 4. That would be what 4 into 3 into 2 into 1. Similarly, if I wanted to take the factorial of 3, that would be what 3 into 2 into 1. Now, if you look closely, this 3 into 2 into 1 and this over here is common. So instead of 4 factorial, I can also write this as what 4 into 3 factorial. Correct? So from this, what I can deduce is whatever factorial I want to find, you can write this as nothing but the same number multiplied by the next neg next number but in decreasing order and that factorial. Okay. So that number gets into a factorial position. So from here, I can say 10 factorial can be written as what 9, sorry, instead of 9, first we'll write 10 into 10 minus 1, which is what? 9 factorial. Okay. So similarly here, let's write this. You will write 9 factorial as it is. Plus 10 factorial can be written as what? 10 into 9 factorial. Similarly, 9 factorial minus 10 into 9 factorial. So now if you see, I can take few things common, which is what? 9 factorial can be taken out. I'm left with what? 1 plus 10. Here again, 9 factorial has been taken out. I am left with what? 1 minus 10. So now if you look closely, these 9 factorial, 9 factorial can get cancelled. And I am left with what? 11. Upon 1 minus 10, that gets you what? Minus 9. So that gets you basically minus 11 upon 9, which is an improper fraction. Now what is an improper fraction? If your numerator is greater than denominator, it becomes an improper fraction. So you can convert it into what? A mixed form, which is what? Minus 1, 2 by 9. And in decimal form, it would come out to be minus 1.22 recurry. Okay. So I hope this is very, very clear to everyone. That's it for today. I will see you in the next video.